Numbers are a type of force or frequency. When we return to original mind and original universe, we experience undifferentiated light, a light universe. How do we conceive of infinity or a light universe? We can conceive of it as a perfect sphere like Plato or Pythagoras. On a two-dimensional plane, it can be conceived of as a circle. The law of time reveals a cosmology of number with the zero and one. One gives rise to all number. One is the divisible factor in any number. No matter how big the prime number is, it is always divisible by itself and by the number one. One is the root of all number. Systems of number all start with one. One times one equals one and one plus one equals two. The two give rise to the law of alternation. All numbers are either odd or even. Every even number is divisible by two. So the alternation of number is the basic principle of the law of alternation. We breathe in, we breathe out. Zero and one. Night and day is also zero and one. The splitting of the one makes the two, creating the possibility of a dynamic. This creates the possibility of polarity, an electric pulsation, positive and negative. The electron goes around the neutron, creating the first dynamic of movement, electron-neutron. So the two creates the first dynamic of movement. Every body that comes into creation is born with this polarity. Our primal separation from nature, oneness, is rooted in the two. All of our thought processes follow nature's polarity. This polarity is also seen in the planetary body with its north and south poles that create a spin potential, like when you put two magnets together and create movement and spin potential. Every electron revolves around a central point. The central point is like a star or stellar unit. As Earth spins on its polar axis, binary, it goes around a central unit. This creates a second level of polarity, alternation of day and night. Keep in mind that day and night only exist on a body spinning around a star. This creates the sense of time as movement and duration. On the day side, the planetary body is flooded with photons, light. On the night side, these photons are absent. Night is occulted by the sun. The solar rays are the strongest influence, but at night solar rays are blocked so cosmic radiation saturates that side of the planet. To experience binary order, practice pranayams, inhale count 4, hold count 4, exhale count 4, hold count four do seven times then same for alternating nostrils three times there are different orders of number in the binary movement one creation matrix power demonstrated by the 441 cube matrix two powers of creation demonstrated by binary and spiral orders The moving interplays of mathematical matrices manifest and create the logarithmic spirals in the galaxy and the matrices of life, time, and the synchronic order. All of these matrices move together in a continuous process of ever-increasing complexity that are also moved by simple elementary patterns of number interacting with each other to create various ranges and forms. When we learn how to tune into creation matrices, we are moving into telepathic frequencies. The creation process is in continuous motion. See chapter 3 for more on these matrices. The logarithmic spiral creates the ratio of phi, the golden mean. This is the spiral of creation that creates the galaxy. 
the spiral principle must become binary to create the galactic order, which is simultaneously clockwise and counterclockwise. The logarithmic spiral made binary creates the dynamic of galactic order. Spirals are found everywhere in the universe, from our fingertips to the galaxy. The order of the universe can be understood as 1. Binary and 2. Spiral. Binary is based on the 2 and the doubling of 2. All even numbers are divisible by 2, whereas spiral is based on what's called the Fibonacci sequence. In the Fibonacci sequence, we keep adding the last number. Note that plants and flowers demonstrate the Fibonacci spiral in their numbers of leaves and petals as they grow. Binary crossover polarity is a universal four-dimensional principle. It is how number becomes movement based on a binary principle. In chemistry, Binary crossover polarity creates the lattice structures of crystals. The crystal lattice structure of silicon dioxide, formed by binary crystal polarity, is the basic structure of rock, both mineral and molten. This is a crystalline property. What are rocks and how did they get to be in rock forms? Molten rock cooled into different chemical compounds that then formed into different structures. These processes operate according to the molecular crystal lattice binary movement. For instance, the molecular chemical structures reach a certain point and then take the form of a crystal. The crystal then becomes an example of a form of frozen movement of binary crossover polarity. When this principle is applied to living matter, then the 32 crystal lattice structures double and change into 64, the binary lattice structure of DNA. Thus, the binary operation is indistinguishable from the genetic code and is the underlying mechanism of the Psi Bank or holonomic mind. In eternity, before the dot arises in space, there is an undifferentiated sphere. Sufi tradition says that within original eternity came the fracture or breaking of eternity. This break in eternity forged an interval ratio with a frequency of 7. This is known as the interval of lost time in eternity. Within the last 25 years, Western scientists have agreed that the cosmos is roughly 13.7 billion years old. In the Japanese tradition, a folk saying is, how old is the moon? And in the Sen Koan tradition, why is the moon always new? The answer is 13.7. This is interesting in light of the law of time, with its chief numbers 13 and 7. 
In the cosmology of the law of time, we have the sequence of the 13 in the Solkin, as well as the 13 unit wave spell cosmology, that can be read fractally to represent spans of time that range from 13 days to 13 billion years, or 13 Bactoons, etc.